has been anti-signal photography with a drop layer lens. Author Dr. Prithvi Chandrakant, co-author Dr. Chandrakant. No conflict of interest or no financial interest in this presentation. Why is anterior segment of thalamic imaging important? It helps us in documentation, follow and progress of a patient. Also helps us in academic and research purpose and also for patient education. So how was this photo to be taken? was mainly taken by slit lamp cameras which was provided by the company. Then came the era of smartphones. Smartphones are being widely used in Dr. Morji now. The main advantage being portability, affordability, accessibility, data storage online and offline. Also the ability to edit and share which helps in Teddy of Morji in rural health centers and camps. Smartphone of Thermic Amazing. It's done by freehand photography or smartphone adapters. Various forms of smartphone adapters are present in the market, few being ones made out of 3D printing or universal adapters in the online market like Amazon and Flipkart. Although the smartphones are handy, but they require a slit lamp, without which we cannot take photographs. Slit lamps cannot be used in better locations as it is bulky and expensive and also fixing an adapter needs a minimum amount of skills. So then the idea, what if there was a device which could magnify the structure of the eye just the way as planned, maybe a magnifying glass or an intraocular lens. Intraocular lens was invented by Sir Harold Ridley around the year 1950 for the treatment of cataract. So all these years we have been doing cataract surgery and replacing it with intraocular lens which is nothing but a magnifying glass, a biconvex lens. Let's look at the principle of a biconvex lens. So the biconvex lens has two focal points F1 and F2. When an object is placed between F1 and the optical center of the lens it subtends an image which is virtual, erect and enlarged. This principle of a biconvex lens is being used to make the ASP device. Preparation of ASP Take a chart paper and mark a length of 10 cm and a breadth of 1.5 cm. This mark, you can cut it with a scalpel, a eleven blade, or a scissors. Remove the cutout and fold it into half. It is folded at five centimeters. Now measure and draw outline of 3 mm radius circle. That is where IOL will be placed. Now take a double sided tape and stick it at one end the has been cut out. Once that is done, fold it to the opposite side. Now we need to make a circular cut at the place we measure 3 mm. Remove the sticker of the other side of the double sided sticker. And the IOL will be placed. Now 
take the IVR now. The IVR used over here is 24 diopters. It's carefully placed centrally and covered by the other half of the ASPI cutout. Once that is done, you can place the ASPI on the phone. It has to be placed centrally on the camera lens of the smartphone. You can use a cello tape or a micro core to stick it together to the camera lens. You are ready to take photographs. This device can be used in any phone with one, two or three cameras. How to use it? The procedure should be explained to the patient and consent taken. The smartphone is kept on the video mode with the flash on. Take it near the eye, zoom appropriately and take video. Few images taken from ASPI. Iris mass, giant papillae, new ascular glaucoma, cognitive nerves, keratoplasty sutures, blue dot cataract with postural subcapsular tracking, pseudocutely, pupillary membrane, hyperpion, ACI oval, postural capsular rent, caterpillar head. Cornea forming body, OSSN, and white out spot. Video taken from ASV. Here you can see a video of phacodonosis and hydrodonosis. Thank you.